Alright, hey, what's up, guys? Um, welcome to another edition of Chan Shen Blackbird Academy. Um, let's go over some of this stuff um, on the homework that, that we're going to have to go over, which is box plots, uh, IQR, which is interquartile range, outliers, and the five number summary. Okay, so um, I'm going to talk about this data. How much people would be willing to pay for prom? So let's say I went around and I, I asked people, oh, hey, how much do you think you'd be willing to spend on prom? Um, and I, I was thinking in terms of one person, right? Like, how much would you spend for one person at prom? You know, so these are the, the, the answers I got from people, okay? All right, so these are the answers I got from people. Um, and now what I want to do is I want to create a box plot. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is find the median of the data. So to find the median, well, lucky for you, I already ordered it for you guys. To find the median for that data, I just need to find the middle. So let's go ahead and find the middle here. Um, one over here, one over there, 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 one over here, one over there. And now I'm stuck between two things, right? So the median has to be in between these two. So the median, if it's in between these two, is right there. So the median is 90. So if the median is 90, we know that half of the people will pay 90 or more, and half of the people will pay 90 or less. Okay. So from the median, what percentage of people are below the median? In other words, what percentage of people are before the median? Well, that's half. So what's half as a percentage? 50%. So this should be 50%. And I'll type in the answers in case you guys struggle. I'll zoom this in so you can see it better. Okay, so what is the median of the data? 90. From the median, what percentage of people are at the median or above? Well, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of 12 people. So if there's 12 people and there's 6 people above, then you have 50%. And that's what the median always is, is it splits your data into half and half. And half the people will be above the median, half the people will be below. So what is the maximum of this data? Well, you see right here, this is the max. This is the min. So we're going to type these in. The maximum of the data is 180. The minimum of the data is 50. What is Q1? of the data. Alright, so this is the part that's kind of new to you guys. Finding the first quartile. So if we're finding the first quartile, and I'm trying to change this color back to blue. So if I'm finding the first quartile, I want to look only at this section. Okay. The median is also known as Q2. The reason being, it splits it into the second quartile. If this is Q2. This is the second quartile. How much is a quartile? 25%. So one quartile will give you 25%. Two quartiles will give you 50%. So I'm at 50% right here, which is exactly what the median is, at 50%. Then I would have a third quartile. Fourth quartile is the maximum, and I would get everything, all 100%. Okay, so what I'm looking for is the median between these six numbers, right? If the, if the median is right here, I need to look at these six numbers, okay? If I got an actual number as the median, I would no longer count that. Okay, I wouldn't need to use it. So for example, if I had this 90 and that was my median, I wouldn't need to use it. In that case, I would just look at these five things and find the median. But since our median is in between, we have to keep this one for the next median. So to find the first quartile, we take the first half and we find the median again. So the median of the median. And we see that it should be something like right here, right? Q1. So I need to find the median between these two numbers. So for Q1, I'm going to find the median between those numbers. So it's 80 plus 85 divided by 2, which gives us 82.5. And that is my first quartile. So this is Q1. Now, the next thing I want to find, let's put that in 82.5, is the Q3. So 
let's switch over to green. So now we're looking at now we're looking at this side and I forgot this part right here you're gonna need one two three four five six numbers and that's the right side past the median okay and again the same thing would apply if this 90 was used in the median like it was the median because if we had like an odd number of things we would have an actual middle not in between then this would not get used okay but since it's an even amount and the median is right here and it's not actually a number the medians over here it's not actually a number you take whatever you didn't use right here so you have all this stuff here and you're trying to find the median so the median is going to be right here in between these two numbers right and since it's an even amount we have to look in between so for q3 we have 100 plus 110 divided by 2 and that gives me 105. Alright, so now we know our Q3. 105. Now, if we're talking about Q4, that's really just here. Now, Q4 represents the fourth quartile. What the fourth quartile is, is if the first quartile is 25%, the second quartile is 50%, the third quartile is 75%, the fourth quartile is 100%. So 100% of the data is at the maximum or below. So Q4 is also known as the max. So how do you find interquartile range? Interquartile range, IQR, is equal to Q3 minus Q1. Q3 minus Q1. So to do this one, let's go ahead and do it after I type this in. Q3 minus Q1. To find the interquartile range, all you need to do is do this. So Q3 minus Q1. And I, I probably shouldn't have used green here. So Q3 minus Q1. Let's use blue. All I have to do is plug in each part. So Q3 was 105. I'm going to subtract off whatever Q1 was. Q1 was 82.5. Okay, so that leaves me with uh, 22.5. The IQR, IQR is equal to 22.5. Right, so that's my interquartile range. Okay, so it should be 22.5. Okay, now let me pause the video and make the box plot for you. All right, so I cleaned up the work a little bit so that we can see it better. So I'm going to actually make the box plot for you guys and, and show you how to make the box plot again. So from here, you're going to start with the minimum, which is 50. So I'm going to mark this as 50. And I can you see that I marked this as light green, and I put 50 right here as light green. And I also need to mark the maximum, which is 180. So we'll say 180 is like something over here. Okay. Now, the next part we needed to do is to mark the quartiles. So technically, this is Q4, right? Because it's 100% of the data is at 180 or less. Um, this is technically, I guess you could count this as Q0, though I don't think anybody normally ever calls it anything. They say it's the minimum. Okay, so this is Q0. Now, what I need to mark is the median. So let's mark the median here. Um, let's use blue for that. And we said the median was uh, 90. And it's not because it touches the 90, actually. It's right here in between. Okay. So this right there is 90 as the median. And we said that the median is 90. So where would 90 be on this thing? It would probably be a little bit 40 away from 50. So I'd say 90 is something like right here. Let's say 90 is right here. It's not too far away from 50, but it's a decent amount from 180. So here's 90, and this is our Q2. In other words, our median. It splits us into 50%. So we're 50% there, and then there's 50% behind us, 50% in front of us. Okay, so we're at 90. 
now I need to mark the other thing so let's mark in uh, Q1 and that was Q2 that we just did which is the median now I'm gonna mark in Q1 and Q3 so to mark in Q1 I'm gonna say that it was right here and we said it was 82.5 and we said the other one was 105 and that's Q1 and this is Q3 so Q1 is over here at 82.5 it's not very far away from 90 so here's 82.5 and that's Q1 105 is a little farther away so we'll go this direction and that's 105 Q3 okay so to finish this box plot or medium box plot you're going to box up the middle 50% then you extend the box out to the max extend the box out to the medium Right. So what percentage of people are between the minimum and Q3? So from Q0 to Q3, well, each quartile represents 25% of the people. So it would be 75% of the people are represented between the minimum and Q3 because each quartile represents 75%, or sorry, represents 25%. What percentage of people are between the maximum and Q1? So from Q4, which is the maximum, over to Q1 over here, well that's also 75% of people. Okay, And just as a check, you know, what would it be from Q1 to Q3? It would be the middle 50% of the people. It would represent 50%, but it's the middle 50%. And that's why the box is the important part um, of, of it. The IQR represents 50% of the middle people. So what is the rule to check if a number is an outlier? The rule is 1.5 IQR plus Q3 or, or 1.5 IQR minus, or 1.5, it would be Q1 minus 1.5 IQR. So in other words, we found our IQR, our IQR is 22.5, and what we are doing is we're going to check to see if there's an outlier here. So we can do some calculation, and I'm going to say we take Q3, and we're checking to see is this box, if I lined it up, when I take this box, would I be able to reach 180 within one and a half boxes? So if I took a box and a half, would I reach 180? So let's check. So 180 is our guess of an outlier. So we say IQR, which is 22.5 times 1.5. And I'll pause the video so I can finish the work for you guys. Alright, so I went ahead and used the calculator. Um, you take 22.5, which is our IQR, and we multiply by 1.5. That gives us 33.7. So a box and a half would give us 33.7, like length, right, going this way. And if I pull this box, I, I can already kind of tell that it's not going to make it. If I took the box and also put half the box, that'll only put me like here. Okay. So, what I did is I found that 33.7 is my 1.5 times IQR, and I added on to Q3, right, from where the box ends. And that gives me 138.7. Now, is 140 within that range? Is it within 138.7? So no, this is an outlier. Okay. I'm going to write out for outlier. Right? And that also means 180 is also an outlier. So to check the other side, you take the same thing, this 1.5 IQR, this is 1.5 times IQR, and you are going to apply it to this side. So you're going to check this side and go to the left. Well, 82.5, subtract the 1.5 IQR, 33.7, gives me something like 50, in fact it gives me 49, 48, Point eight, I think. Okay, so 48.8. And that would be over here. So is 50 an outlier? No. Right, because it falls within that range. If I extended the box out this way, it falls within it. So are there any outliers? Yes. It's uh, 140 and 180. List the five number summary. And that's just putting in the mean, the, mean, the min, Q1, 
Q1, median Q3, Q4, and that's it.